holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well quaffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? Heave to and strike your colors. I've come to seize your ship. You have? Jolly good. No one's been man enough to take the Screaming Narwhal for over two years. Huh. He's got a really good attitude for someone who's about to lose his ship. Why are you so happy about me seizing your ship? I love a good challenge. Girds the mind and sharpens the loins, don't you know? Huh? Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> good one, boyo. But I didn't build the screaming narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were they drunk? No, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sot's look. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Be seeing you. I look forward to it. And I never ever ever do a thing about the weather, because the weather never ever does a thing for me. Prepare to be boarded, then, Winslow. <laughs> Bacon grease, boyo. Slickest stuff in the seven seas. Oh, crud. This jacket was an anniversary present. And now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine going to be P.O.'d? <laughs> oh, dang. Hot, 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 ow! And now the dock is smoldering. Perfect. If I give you a flower, will you allow me to seize the screaming narwhal? By Jove, lad! That is by far the silliest attempt to get me off this ship in months. So you'll do it? <laughs> of course not. You may be silly, but I'm not. <laughs> and I never ever do a thing about the weather, because the weather never ever does a thing for me. Okay, now what? Good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. No, don't, please. You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that if you want to knock me off, lad. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Clever boy. Well played, Master Threepwood. Or should I say, Captain Threepwood? Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain. Until someone else comes along and knocks you off. Sweet! I bloody well sweet it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. Congratulations! I just got a tip there's some kind of one piracy going on around here. 
Not just any wanton piracy, a genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Uh, Guybrush is one word. Wonderful! I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this! Go keep up the swashbuckling, Threepwad, and I'll be forking over the secrets of Deep Gut in no time! Welcome aboard, sir! Dan Winslow? What are you doing here? If it's all right with you, Captain, I'd like to stay aboard as your first mate. I don't know. I really don't... Jolly good, sir. You won't regret it, mark my words. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe some of my stitches have popped. I'll meet you here if the winds ever change. Spiffy new Hungarian easy action cannons I've been begging Elaine to let me buy. Whoa. The wind's really doing a number on that cannonball. Unicorns! Beautiful unicorns! 